Time now for an update from Fox Carolina News and Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rates certified most accurate. Good Thursday afternoon. I'm Cody Alcorn. It is a hot afternoon out there. We'll check in with Chief Meteorologist Kendra Kent in just a moment to see if we have any showers or storms like we've been seeing in the past. And of course, a look at the 4th of July holiday weekend. Let's head to foxcarolina.com though right now. Just look at some of the headlines we're following this afternoon. You can see our big story right there. Tanner's Big Orange owner offering, offering a public apology after that social media post that led to protest outside of his business there for a couple of weeks. It happened right there on Pleasantburg Drive. We have seen protests out there uh, right when it started. There were several uh, dozen people out there, but today he issued an apology and you can watch that entire apology right there at foxcarolina.com. You see over here in Spartanburg County, they passed a resolution encouraging folks to wear mask, but they are not requiring a mandate at this time. So they are joining Anderson and making a uh, public announcement saying, hey, you should do this, but not mandating any type of mask ordinance. And of course, right here, heating up for the 4th of July weekend, Kendra will check in with us in just a moment, but you can see Wofford College announcing home game times. Also, pandemic, the COVID-19 prompting layoffs at Belk department store chain. So uh, there's some interesting news there. Also, speaking of COVID-19, 1,629 people tested positive today for the virus with more than 19 deaths. So again, those death rates continue to climb and we are seeing those numbers spike as well, bringing South Carolina to 39,587 cases with 777 deaths. Of course, we'll have much more at four and five and tonight at 10 and 11. But right now, let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Kendra Kent and it is hot out there, Kendra. Oh my goodness, Cody. We are in the 90s for much of the upstate and that is going to continue into the weekend. But the good news, if you want to call it good news, is that we're not going to have any rain to cool us down, at least not for Friday and most of Saturday. So uh, if you can just find a way to get cool, it's going to be great for being out on the lake, being at the pool. It's that kind of weather you expect for Independence Day. As we go into next week, scattered storms will be back in the forecast. So let's break down your Friday in case you're taking that as a holiday and you're going to be maybe heading out to the beach or the lake. It looks like weather should cooperate nicely. Highs in the low 90s for the upstate mid 80s for the mountains. Of course, you'll want to check in on the morning news first thing in the morning as well as at 4, 5, 10 and 11 and download the Fox Carolina news app.